I only paid $35 for this laptop. It's an old Chromebook, like the ones that you'd use in school. I was curious, what kind of consoles can you emulate on one of these things? Now to get these emulators running on here, we got to take care of a few problems first. First things first, we got to un chromebookify this thing by taking Chrome OS out and throwing it in the dumpster where it belongs. In its place, we're gonna install a lightweight version of Linux uh, through my extensive research, the best one I could find for Chromebooks. Looks like Gallium OS, so we're gonna get that installed. We're gonna use RetroArch for our emulator because you can load different cores into it and play games from different consoles. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife, but for emulators, you can play a bunch of different consoles from the same program. So I got RetroArch installed and I, I loaded all the cores and we're all ready to go. So let's launch a game and see what happens. Oh, fuck me. After wasting an hour trying to figure out why it wasn't working, I realized it was the game file that I found on the laptop that wasn't working. So nothing was broken. Um, I'm just fucking stupid. But now, watch this. It's about to be emulation station up in here. Let's go see what this thing can do. Here's the plan. We're going to test a couple games from each console and it's going to get progressively more difficult to run as we go. And we're going to keep going until either one, we run out of consoles or two, this laptop blows up. So I think we can all agree that the NES is going to run pretty well on this. So we're only going to test one game. We're getting a really solid 60 frames per second here. I know, big surprise, the 40-year-old console runs pretty well, right? Yeah, anything on the NES and the SNES, they're going to run fine on this. So I think we're okay to skip to something a little bit more modern. Let's try some Game Boy Advance games. Game Boy games are really easy to run, so we're not going to have any issues with them. I just wanted to check a few out because it's one of my favorite consoles ever. And, you know, I wanted to play a couple of the games. So just like the NES, we're holding a very solid 60 frames. Where I'm really curious is the more graphically intensive games. So like N64 and like PS2, GameCube, all of those. I wanna see how those run. Next up is the N64. And this is where I'm really starting to question whether it's gonna be able to hold a solid frame rate. All the other games we tested so far, I kinda knew that those were gonna run. Now we're starting to get into the territory where, you know, it might feel like shit to play. We're gonna run Pokemon Snap first because I think that's gonna be a little bit easier to run than Ocarina of Time. We're not getting 60 frames, but we're holding a very solid 30. And this is still really, really playable. Let's load up Ocarina of Time. I wanna see how this one runs on here. I mean, we're getting 60 frames on Ocarina of Time. It's running really well. I'm not running into any problems at all. I'm really surprised. It's running pretty good. Let's move on to the PlayStation 1. Never mind, I can't get any of my PlayStation 1 games to load. So we're just going to skip it and we'll go to the PSP. Base up the middle. Picked up at the wall. One down. That ball roped into left field. So one thing I am noticing is a little bit of input lag, um, and that's something that I didn't notice at all on the other ones. And it could definitely be the emulator that's doing it. So running a different emulator might help out with that. But it's definitely not running as smooth as the other consoles. It's definitely playable. It's just not as stable of a frame rate, it doesn't feel like. So we're gonna load up Dolphin, which is an emulator for GameCube and Wii games. And we're going to try some of those out. If I had to guess, this is probably where we're going to end up tapping out. But I've been surprised so far. So we'll try some GameCube games first. If those run, we'll move on to move on to the Wii. I'm really surprised. Uh, Wind Waker is running completely fine. Besides, you know, the stray stutter here or there. We're holding a pretty steady frame rate and everything's working. I'm just kind of taken aback by that. 
Um, but we'll close this out and we'll open up Super Mario Sunshine, which is a little bit harder to run than Wind Waker. And we'll see if that works. This is some pretty wild stuff. I really, whenever I started this, I, I did not think we were gonna make it this far. I had thought there was zero chance that GameCube games would run on here. I'm super impressed. And everything's running really well. It feels good, it's responsive. You know, it's not really stuttering or slowing down. So now we're onto the Wii. And you know, at first I would have thought there was no chance in hell that this would ever run on a school Chromebook. But after seeing the GameCube games run, I don't know, it, it might work. I, I, I really didn't think we were gonna get this far. I didn't even prep like a, a PS2 emulator because I thought there was no way we would get that far. But I mean, being able to emulate anything from the NES all the way up until the Wii and, and the PS2 on a $35 Chromebook is absolutely fucking crazy to me. I did not think we were gonna be able to do that. I, and I don't have the specs for the laptop offhand, but it, it's a shitter, dude. Like it's a really bad laptop and, and the specs are horrible on it. Like the, the bead things that they used to use for math, those are more advanced than this laptop. I'm just, I'm blown away. It's a pretty good budget option. I don't know if I'd recommend you going out and you know buying one just to emulate games on, but if you have an old Chromebook or a shitty laptop laying around, maybe try emulating some games on it. A lot of them are a lot easier to run than you'd think. That's about all we got. Take care. <laughs>